Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Relation. Today we are going to see about Antlock simulation of standalone PV system with battery and the grid connected PV system with battery. Okay, that means the both system will be operated, then will the both will be simulated in the same simulating model. And then we are going to create some logic between standalone operation and the grid connected mode. The so standalone we can call it as cylinder condition. Okay, so whenever there is no uh, grid power or grid is disconnected from the system, then the PV system, the battery should be operated at the standalone in order to supply AC load as well as DC load. So whenever the grid available, then it going to be connected to the PV system, the battery. So based upon PV system parameter, that means PV current or power or battery SOC. So we are going to decide whether we are going to send the power to the grid or we are going to get the power from the grid to supply the AC load as well as DC load. So for that, already we developed the model for both standalone PV system with the battery and grid connected PV system with the battery in the MATLAB simulation. So today I am going to explain the operation of these both condition right in the MATLAB. So for that, I am going to open that the simulation model. So this is a model created for a standalone or or islanded mode operation of solar PV with the battery system and the grid connected uh, mode operation of solar PV with the battery system. So here you can see that the system consists of PV panel and then boost converter and then is going to be connected with the DC bus and also here we have a DC load. Okay, and we have battery and then bi-directional DC DC converter it will be connected with the DC bus and then here you can see that this is single phase inverter is connected to the DC bus and here we have the filter LCL filter and then here we have AC load and then here we have grid supply okay and the PV panel is, is controlled by means of incremental conductance MVPT. So this is incremental conductance MVPT is implemented here for this solar PV system to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. And then this bidirectional DC DC converter, the voltage that means output voltage of this bidirectional DC DC converter is controlled by means of voltage controller. Here we used PA controller to maintain the uh, DC bus voltage at uh, 400 volt. And then this inverter, right? So this inverter can be operated in, in bi direction when it's connected with the grid system. So here the inverter having two kind of uh, control logic. So one is uh, this inverter can be controlled in the grid connected mode. And then this inverter can be controlled by means of standalone mode operation. So here you can see that so this is the, the control logic for a, the grid connected mode operation inverter control. And then here you can see here so this is the island and mode operation of this um, of the uh, inverter, right? So this is a control algorithm used for island and mode. And here we created some event, right? That means, so here we have controlled voltage source is going to be controlled by means of this two block, right? That means sinusoidal waveform is multiplied with some constant. If constant I'm going to put zero means the output will be zero. That means the system will be goes to islanded mode or a standalone mode, okay? When I'm going to put the constant equal to one, so then system will be act as a grid connected mode. So the same control logic, right? Same control logic is given to this circuit breaker. Okay. So the circuit breaker will be open based upon the voltage of this control voltage source from this thing. So this constant is zero, then system will be disconnected from the solar PV, PV battery inverter system then it won't be operated standalone 
seven. The constant equal to one. Then it going be that means the breaker will be closed and then this source will be going to be connected to the solar PV at the inverter system. So then it going to be operated in the grid connector mode. Okay. So. <coughs> So this that means the control logic about the control logic incremental conductors and the voltage controller for that bidirectional converter and grid connected mode operation. So already we explained in that uh, normally that grid connected solar PV with the battery system. Now I am going to explain islanded mode operation. That mean when the system is not connected, okay. So we need to apply that islanded mode condition. So based upon that load voltage and then load current right so we need to control this inverter so for that i'm going to explain the concept so here you can see that we are going to measure the inverter voltage and then it's going to be converted into ab to dq form and then here by using sinus at we are going to generate the sine cosine so based upon this sine cosine value we are going to generate the reference a D reference and Q reference. So it going to be compared with the actual quantity of and D and Q and then is going to be processed via voltage PA controller. So finally we will get uh, the direct and quadrature uh, axis control voltage here. So that going to be converted into AB form. Okay. DQ to ABC. So then here we are going to take only a quantity only so that a quantity is going to be compared with the inverter current and then is processed via pa controller so this pa controller is going to be generate the modulating signal okay so here you can see here right so based upon the dilated mode condition so when the grid voltage is equal to zero then it should be operated in island and boom. When grid voltage equal to that means that command equal to one, then it going to be operated in the grid connected mode. Okay. So for the here we have that uh, switch, right? So we are comparing that value. So when this value equal to zero, right? So if this condition is not true, then it going to be connected via here, right? So this will be it taken from the island and mode operation. So these are modulation index from the entire island and mode operation. So is this modulating index going to be processed via this PDM generator for generating the pulse for the inverter? Okay. So when the command is one, so the condition is true, then it's going to be connect this one. So this one is come come from here, right? So that meaning uh, the modulation mod, 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 modulating signal from that uh, uh, connected mode inverter control, right? So that means when the grid is connected to the system, so we are going to take this modulating, modulating, modulating signal. So when the grid is, not, uh, is disconnected from the system, we are going to take the modulating signal from the uh, island and mode control. Okay. So next I am going to explain the system. Here you can see that we are measuring the uh, grid voltage current and power. So here we are measuring uh, load voltage, current and power. Okay. And then this one used to for measuring the PV power. This one is used, used to for measuring the DC bus voltage and current and power. So this is battery measurement and then this is inverter voltage, current and grid current. Okay. And then so this one used to for measuring the SOC of the battery. So now I am going to operate the mode in the island that means island and mode operation that means the grid is disconnected from the system. Okay. So I am going to simulate this model.
so systems operate in grid and connected mode so that's why you can see that so the grid voltage is zero and grid current zero okay so there is no power uh, from the grid because is operating in stand alone condition so here you can see that this sub pv power so here you can see that i have uh, taken the condition right so initially which is equal to 1500 200 and then change to 500 and then 1000 for every 0.3 seconds so you can see the results of the pv battery dc load and grid and then AC load and then associate the battery. Okay. So here you can see that the DC load and the AC load continuously getting the power right from that uh, solar PV system and battery when it's operated in the island and mode condition or standalone mode condition. Okay. So both system will be receiving the power. Okay. So this is AC load and then this is DC load. When it, when it is operated in the standalone mode or the island mode operation okay so now i'm going to change the system in the grid connected mode so that means i'm going to change the control logic here is one that means now the system is operated in the uh, grid connected mode okay now i'm going to simulate this model So now you can see that so grid is connected so that's why we are having AC voltage and current and then it having some power right and then you can see that this is AC load AC load AC load load, load voltage load current and load power so this is DC load DC uh, load voltage current and power and then this is the parameter of PV and the battery and this is associated of the battery okay so in this condition also it work no problem okay so now I'm going to simulate the model uh, from changing over from uh, uh, grid connected mode to island mode condition okay So for that, I'm going to use some step signal. So here I'm going to connect that step signal here. So initially it operated in grid connected mode. After some seconds, for example, I'm going to consider after 0 0.8 seconds. So it will be operated in the island and mode. Okay. So next I'm going to simulate this model. So up to 0.8 second system is operated in the grid connected mode so you can see the power from um, grid and uh, that means so availability of grid here right and then here you can see that PV voltage current and power battery voltage current DC bus voltage current and power load voltage AC load voltage current and power and then associate the battery so here you can see that during that point 0.8 second so now you can see that system is move on to high landed mode or a grid connected mode so there is no power from the grid or there is no power sent to the grid okay system is now operating in the high landed mode condition okay so there is no deviation in the uh, load power right so load continuously getting power right so during the change over from grid connected mode to island mode so there is small deviation in the power but after some seconds is restored to the that same power level okay so here you can see that so this is switch over from this point right 
So it's a two from grid connected mode to island and mode condition. Okay. So now I'm going to simulate the model from island and mode to grid connected grid, uh, grid connected mode at time of 0.8 seconds. So now you can see that initially there is no voltage and current from the grid side. Okay. And then system will be operate. Um, then main DC load and DC load is in the power from the PV and battery only. So after 0.8 second, you can see that it's moved to grid connected mode. Right now you can see that the system is changed from islanded mode to grid connected mode. Okay during that point is seconds okay now system is under uh, grid connected mode operation so for this condition also the system will be work fine so the dc load and ac load is in power from the vv battery and also grid so here that uh, during grid connected mode so based upon soc right uh, here i will create a condition right so based upon pv current and soc uh, the power will be sent to the grid and receive the from the grid so this logic already we explained in the my yearly video like grid connected solar pv with the battery system so we can check that video okay so this is working of uh, grid connected and island mode operation of solar pv with the battery system or else grid connected and standalone mode operation of the solar pv with the battery and the storage system okay thank you thank you for watching the videos so kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you so much.